tails or some notches off the back of its tail. The females always get larger than the males if there's two notches off the back of it, which is a female, so that's a female. Some of them you see out here with one notch. Oh, missing. Oh, I see there's a dent. Yes, ma'am. What they do, they cut, up, cut them off. Oh, they cut them off. Oh, I see. Another one coming? Just hovering around over there. Other side of the trestle. Mm -hmm. They go up, eh? Yeah, so they go up bed. So they sleep on land? Actually, uh, yes ma'am, they do. They can only hold their breath underwater for two hours at the max. But, you know, in any situation, the average time is 15, 20 minutes. Now, winter months, what they actually do, they, they dig under the water, under the bank. So they're above the water when they dig their hole and below the dirt where it's warm. And that's where they stay. They can actually live for you know, three to four months at a time without even eating. Three to four months without they eating. They start their heart rate, uh, heart rate and it speaks like six, six to ten times a minute. So they're hibernating? Yes, ma'am. In the winter? Now, you see the little dirt piles up here? They look like mud and stuff. That's what they do. They bring the mud up there and bury it and make like an igloo. And then the outer shell is hard dig out the inside, and that's where they go in their bed and make their eggs, their eggs. Where's the entrance? I didn't see an entrance. Is it underwater? Ma'am? The entrance to their um, yes, nest? All underwater. <laughs> so like a beaver. Exactly. Then they do have mud and marsh. So that many uh, uh, water boxes or Alligators eat the water moccasins and the raccoons. You can see it four feet out of the water. Four foot of uh or more of you know goat and actually jump out the water and eat their prey. Jump four feet out of the water to get their prey. Swimming 
in the ponds and lakes and inland, I guess. No, ma'am. Some people don't. I caught a couple of people fishing underneath this bridge and they asked me what I was doing with their boat and I told them, so they packed up and left. <laughs> you look right here to the left, you got a hole in the fence. Uh -huh. A big one comes in and out, the bed's right here. It's probably 13 foot long. He hasn't been around in about three weeks. Now they actually found a dead piece of a man here. <laughs> you found a dead piece of a man? So it wasn't eaten by an alligator. Ma'am, no. It, not eaten. Did you hear that? This is where people come down off the bridge and they fish. And saw him down and says, what are you doing down here with an airboat? And she, he said, alligator tour. And she packed up and left. Scalapia are the fish here. Alligator named Sylvie uh, here. Tail on the back end of it cut off. About a foot of its tail on the back end was cut off. What kind of grass is this? Marsh grass. Tour right here. Yeah. Some land right here. I come around the corner, hit that land. 